Hello, you are watching NewsX. This is Shamshad. Uh, as uh, the Chandrayaan 2's payload orbiter class, which is basically designed to detect the signatures of the elements on the lunar soil, the Indian Space Organization has stated that uh, this Chandrayaan orbiter payload has successfully detected the charged particles and intensity variations on the lunar soil. We have with us Vijay Kumar Das, who will tell us more about this successful mission of Chandrayaan 2. Samsa, the, the class payload on the lunar uh, Chandrayaan 2 orbiter has uh, uh, spotted uh, intensity variations and charged particles on the lunar soil. So, uh, two favorable conditions are required uh, for spotting this kind of change. And uh, the class payload has been specially designed to or mark the slightest variations or change on the lunar surface. So the condition, the first condition is that there should be adequate sunlight. Without any sunlight, uh, this thing could not be visible or this couldn't happen on the lunar surface. So, <coughs> and the class uh, orbiter spotted this change during its journey uh, to the geotel, uh, to the geotel on September. So Indian ISRO has uh, the Indian Space Research Organization has tweeted this. So how this thing happens on the lunar surface? The ISRO said the sun emits a continuous outflowing of stream of electrons and protons into the solar system called the solar wind, the solar wind plasma, which has charged particles embedded in the extended magnetic field of the sun moves at speeds of a few hundred kilometers per hour. And this X-ray like thing can be best captured when the sunlight is there. So it is clearly <coughs> depends on the sunlight. Yeah. Uh, when the sun flares its light on the on this. It is possible uh, due to the electron electrons and protons fired by the sun. Okay. Uh, so it has been nearly a month since the Chandrayaan 2 went into the space and we uh, the unsuccessfully we lost the contact uh, to the Vikram lander. Yeah. So how do you define all such in episodes? Actually uh, what ISRO has said that 98% uh, of the mission uh, has been successful that has been proved true because our orbiter is working perfectly fine. Yeah, sure. It is sending photographs, it is sending other vital data to the mission control yeah, stations sure. on the earth. And uh, because the, it is the only because that we couldn't contact uh, to the Bikram lander or the Pragya rover. Yeah, sure. uh, this doesn't mean that the mission was failure. And uh, since the rover is orbiting the lunar uh, lun uh, moon, uh, for it, and it will continue yeah. to observe uh, orbit the moon for a few years, then it will also send us vital data the, and the variations, the changes that so it has it, also sent it, it will, today. It will uh, work for us. Uh, it will work for sun. us continuously for one hour. It has its lifespan is one hour. It has been designed to last for one hour, um, for one year. Yeah. And uh, during the one year, it will give us vital photographs, several videos uh, regarding the lunar surface. And that is what the ISRO and even the NASA yeah. want right now. Because they want uh, some, the proofs that are taking place, the changes that are taking place on the lunar soil, um, basically on the South Pole. So our uh, Indian Space Research Organization chief, uh, K7 has already stated that we are hoping that we get the contact back from the Vikram lander soon. So this was all for now. Thanks for watching NewsX videos. Keep share and like NewsX videos. Subscribe to NewsX and don't forget to press the bell icon.